nearly a month since a seven-year-old died of something thought to have been food poisoning, help comes to Anguan Haosawa. Last week, combined teams of the World Health Organization, the FCT Primary Health Care Agency, and civil society groups set up camp here, a slum neighborhood of Damagaza, to rescue what's left of his children. It comes with price families have had to pay. <laughs> Jia kai jia juma jia saat interview pemegang ni abang dek kita dia apa saya dah kapaya emang tahu kira romong kaya asyik di kau kau sakau enak saya aje dah mau tefat 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 to tefat ni nasi zebin nang bazei beri ba saya kama chicky saya kama chicky ya zoe liki bam edanya kama chicky ya liki ya zama kamanduzi wani za ya dauka kai operation wani kuma ze ze mtu akida in three weeks nine children have died and 32 others are in hospital for treatment they all had fever vomited and passed stool greenish in color and filled with mucus some of those samples are in laboratories at the bottom and will provide a definitive diagnosis I've discovered that there's some form of um, a need, a uh, health emergency of some sort. Because some children had died, so they wanted to come and ascertain what is the cause of the death. And then we also have taken some children to Asokolo Hospital who have an um, issue. And they discovered that the issue is uh, this uh, perforated uh, intestine. It was ascertained that the ones that we took to the hospital, uh, their own is typhoid. We were here just four days ago, we heard about the, the, the sickness. Uh, people have come actually to talk to them, and we are talking, we are now giving them treatment and giving them intervention. What we do is, uh, is make sure that they drink clean water, there's no way about it. But they are, they are, their bones are using hawkers, and these hawkers are also not clean. They can contaminate the water. So, but uh, we are telling them that if they are not sure of the water, they should boil their water for now. The deaths have been confused and confusing. Officials suspect food poisoning from contaminated water and food, especially water. The community has a borehole from which water vendors fetch to sell. But this stream is where most of the community gets drinking water. It is also the public wash pool. At times they will fall into sickness because of the area is very dead. The way they are used to, they are not taking care of themselves. They be eating anyhow. Even though they don't even know my weather that or uh, anyway, they, they just sit down and they just eating any, anyway, and drinking any water anyhow. Twin sisters Hussein and Hassan have succumbed. A civil society group vaccine network helps Hussein get to hospital where doctors later confirm she died from typhoid. Her twin Hassana is still in hospital with one surgery already and another scheduled to fill holes in her intestines. The 41 cases so far have prompted emergency services in Anguan Haosawa. For days, health officials will administer treatment and vaccination. But authorities say sensitization about their drinking water source and hygiene is more important.